Today's video is a little different. We all have those so-called death piles or some folks call them a money pile. I had a tub of old Christmas ornaments from Hallmark and Carlton Cards that had been in storage for years. I mean many years. At the beginning of November I went through that tub and grouped ornaments together and took photographs and listed all of the ornaments in that tub. In today's video, I will show you which of the ornaments and Christmas items sold, how much I made, and was it worthwhile to get my death pile listed in time for Christmas. Okay, so we'll start on Poshmark. I sold this set of three Hark It's Herald Hallmark Christmas ornaments. They were dated 1990, 91, and 92. They were in the original box. I sold them as a set because they did look like they were part of a collector's series. They sold for $20 within one week of listing. So my profit was $13.70. And the next item is an ornament dated 2003 from Hallmark. It is a fox with a little red bird. He sold for $10. My profit was $5.58, but I wanted to include this one because as you can see, he is dated 2003. Folks will still buy dated ornaments. Perhaps they had a significant event occur in 2003. Maybe they were married or perhaps they had a child. So don't be afraid to list those ornaments that are dated throughout the years. Looking at these keywords, Hallmark 2003, cool decade, keepsake ornament, fox, red bird, cardinal, and cake topper. So it does have a little red bird here down here in the zero. Um, so I did include red bird and cardinal. And I also used cake topper as a keyword in case someone wanted to use it on top of a cake. And the next item is my old tree decorating kit. The children and I decorated the Christmas tree like Santa Claus using red tulle and white feather boas. This was the material that we used. There's a sparkly ribbon there that we turned into Santa's belt. We added a gold belt buckle. Here's the Christmas tree all lit up with the white lights. And here's yet another photograph. So this sold quickly for $40. My profit was $28.42. Now I do have a craft blog. It's called Costume Crafty. And the address is costumecrafty.blogspot.com. And I will include that in the description below. But over here, I've created an article on how to create your own Santa Claus Christmas tree, complete with links to buy the merchandise, as well as a YouTube video on how to create your own Santa Claus Christmas tree. It's a fun little blog. I created many articles about the Halloween costumes that I created for my children throughout the years. There's a DIY on how to create a bird feeder, um, Halloween pumpkins, things like that. And then decorating your own Santa Claus Christmas tree. So that is, again, Costume Crafty Blog, and I will have that address in the description below. And the last item on Poshmark is a set of five Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments. This is Santa and his reindeer. All of these ornaments had the boxes. So they still had the original boxes. And you can see that here. This I was surprised they sold for $65, this set of five ornaments. So my profit was $45.79. All of these ornaments were given to me by a friend and they've been in storage for many years, I finally dug them out this year and listed them across all of my platforms in early November, and many of them have sold. I am a real reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Facebook, Macari, and Amazon, also known as Piece of Scrap. If you like this kind of video where you get right to the what sold and they sell for more than $15, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, which tells me you love this kind of video and I will continue to make more of them. Next, we'll hop over to Macari. This is a Carlton Cards ornament. I don't know, is this a hedgehog or a porcupine? I'm not real sure. I think I included porcupine, but I could be wrong. Um, what do y'all think he is? Is he a hedgehog or a porcupine? 
Either way, he's new in the box uh, with the original plastic holder. First class delivery from Carlton Cards. He sold for $11 on Mercari. So my profit was $8.01. The buyer did purchase me and said she collects these porcupine ornaments and she was happy to find one that she did not have on Mercari. And the next one is a scuba diving Santa Claus. He's also in the original box. He sold for $10 on Macari. My profit was $7.32. This was cute. He's called Sea Santa. Looking at these keywords, Hallmark Keepsake Ornament, Sea Santa, Scuba Diving, 1989 Vintage, Cake Topper, and Box. And the next one is a Hallmark ornament. This is a baby angel. Look at that sweet little face. How cute is that? This one sold for $15. So my profit was $11.42. This is from a collector series by Mary Hamilton. It's Mary's Angels. And this one is named Iris. And she is just the cutest thing. Look at that face. And the last thing on Mercari is a light up silhouette angel. This was vintage from 1995. I picked it up at Goodwill for just $3. They had two of these. The other one was a wreath with it being in the original box and dated 1995 for just $3. I thought I'd take a chance on them and this one sold. It sold for $42 on Mercari, so my profit was $30.32. So this was a great pickup at Goodwill for just $3. I turned my $3 into $42. Now, as you can see, I cross post a lot from Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook, and I do that using a tool called List Perfectly. So how I use it is I will post everything to eBay as it requires the most item specifics. And then using List Perfectly, I will cross post to Poshmark, Macari, and Facebook. If you'd like to give List Perfectly a try, use my code MONEY, M-O-N-E-Y, to save 30% off of your first month subscription. I will have my affiliate link down below in the description. Uh, you can cancel the trial at any time. There is no obligation. However, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it just as much as I do. I am able to cross post easily using List Perfectly. And as you can see, I've sold quite a few items on various platforms that I've cross posted using this tool. This article is on my piece of scrap blog. I do have an eBay blog and it's called pieceofebay.blogspot.com and there you will find many articles about selling and reselling on eBay and Poshmark. A lot of these articles will include the items that I use in my business. For example, here is a postal scale. I'm always right on the money when I go in with my packages at the post office and they weigh them. And I do that using this scale. So go ahead and check out this blog as well, pieceofebay.blogspot.com, and I will have that URL in the description below. And here's the wreath silhouette light up Christmas decoration. I paid $3 for this one as well. It sold at the beginning of December. I accepted an offer of $17.50, and the buyer paid $13 shipping. So they were about $30 all in on this. I did have it priced high at $49. Again, it was vintage in the original box, and I knew I just sold the other one for $42. However, this was the beginning of December, and I know they lowballed me about half of my asking price, but I did not want to sit on this for another full year, so I did accept their $17.50 offer. Looking at these keywords, marquee, Christmas, silhouette, light up, wreath, it's window, outdoor, decor, 1995, and vintage. Next up is a set of Christopher Radko ornaments. 
it was funny, I was watching a YouTube video from a different reseller and they were talking about these Radco ornaments. I've never in my life found these ornaments at Goodwill. During my lunch hour, I went to Goodwill and I found this set of five. I could not believe my eyes. They were only $3. I came home and took a photograph of them and realized that one of the deer had a, a broken foot. So I did disclose that in the listing. It sold quickly within two days of listing for $25.12 and the buyer paid $12 shipping. So about $37 all in on these ornaments. Do y'all think I undervalued them? Leave a comment below and let me know. I mean, the one did have a broken foot, but when something sells so quickly, I can't help but second guess. Maybe I underpriced it. So my profit on these ornaments was $14 and 47 cents. The next item is another Christmas tree decorating kit. This time the kids and I decorated the tree like a cheetah using animal print pattern. So we included the animal print ribbon as well as all of the big fluffy bows that we used. Uh, there are some hand painted ornaments here with cheetah spots on them. And then we did include a pack of store purchased cheetah bulbs as well. This sold for $29.92 and the buyer paid $13 shipping. So about $43 all in on this handmade Christmas tree decorating kit. Again, there's probably an article over on my blog about how to create this look yourself. That's costumecrafty.blogspot.com. Go ahead and check that out. But my profit on this whole tree set was $25.84. We have a few more ornaments. These are miniature gnome ornaments from Hallmark. A three piece set. These are dated 1993. They sold for $15. I accepted a best offer and the buyer paid $7 shipping. So their total was $22. And my profit on these three miniature ornaments was $14.75. And the next one is another Hallmark, or no, this is not Hallmark. This is Carlton Cards. It's a Christmas sweets ornament with a mouse. It sold for $8 and the buyer paid $7 shipping. So they paid just about as much in shipping as they did for the ornament themselves. They were $15 all in. My shipping charge was just $4.12. So I did make some money on the shipping charge. My profit on this ornament was $8.45. And the last item on eBay is a panda bear ornament from Carlton Cards. Again, in the original box with the plastic holder, it sold for $8 and the buyer paid $6 shipping. So my profit was $8.30. Looking at these keywords, Carlton Cards, Candy Panda, which is what it says on the box. Christmas ornament, heirloom, vintage, cake topper and panda okay so i do like to close the loop and bring this full circle what you're looking at here is my spreadsheet of all the christmas items that i sold including the ornaments from that tub that had been in storage for many years here you can see the site that the item sold on the date i shipped it the date i listed it the item description what I paid for the item. Now I only paid for three of the items as the others. Most of the ornaments were gifts to me and then the Christmas tree decorating kits were from my own personal use. This was the shipping that I paid on eBay. Any tax paid, any discounts applied on eBay. These are the fees associated with each sale what it sold for and the shipping I received on eBay. And the most important column of all, the very last one is the profit made on each item. And down here along the bottom, you can see the totals. I spent a total of $9 on three items that I purchased from Goodwill, the light up silhouette figures 
And then the Christopher Radko ornaments, those totaled $9. $44 I paid in shipping. Uh, there was a $2.51 discount applied to one of the eBay orders. The fees associated in total for the sales was a little over $60. The sales price I received was $316.54. And the shipping charge that I received was $58. So summing those across, my profit on these sales was $232.85. My gross sales was $374.54. So I made close to $375 on this tub of ornaments that I had kept in storage for many years. I made that in about one month's time just on these ornaments that were in storage so that to me that's kind of incredible i wish i would have pulled them out sooner but again i still have some ornaments left for sale across all of my platforms uh, hallmark and carlton cards so if you're looking for a keepsake ornament go ahead and head over to my ebay store and I will have all those links in the description below. If you learned anything from today's video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, which tells me that you like this kind of video and would love to see more. While you're at it, leave a comment below and let me know which one of the items were your favorite. Many of you that are listening have not yet subscribed, so do me a favor and click that subscribe button. I will link another What's Sold video here. Continue watching.